So the Reebok CrossFit Lite TRs are my favorite training shoe of all time. Hell, I own five pairs of them, and they were really the first dedicated powerlifter shoes for powerlifters by powerlifters released by a major brand shoe company. Now, of course, some of these major brands have also released other shoes that a lot of people use for powerlifting, but they weren't dedicated to them and they weren't built from the ground up with that in mind. So you have things like Chuck Taylors, obviously, you have things like weightlifting shoes, but again, these weren't made for powerlifters by powerlifters. So they had a lot of hype coming out with these shoes when they were first released. And of course, that's also bound to happen when you have people like Mark Bell and Jesse Burdick behind it. Now, that being said, I still get a lot of questions about these shoes, namely from two different groups of people. The first group are those who aren't familiar with the shoe and they want to know more about it because they see me wearing it and they see what it does and they like it. Officer, I got one question for you. you what are those? And the second group is people who are familiar with the shoe and they want to know where they can find it because they can't seem to find it locally or online any longer. And in fact, I had to reach out to Reebok directly to ask if the shoe was canceled, to which they replied it was not but they did tell me the only place I could find it is more than likely the Reebok outlet store, which does not bode well for the shoe and its livelihood. So that being said, with these shoes, they seem to have a big cult following. A lot of people want to know more about them or get another pair. So why were they such a commercial failure? Well, let's take a look at a few reasons why. All right, so let's get the biggest problem out of the way first, and that's the branding. There's no escaping relating the shoe to CrossFit. Now, the naming of the shoe is something one could easily overlook or forget, but the word marks of CrossFit are literally all over them. Now, that's not to say there's anything wrong with CrossFit, but I believe most people outside the community have a negative attitude towards it. In my initial video of the shoe, most comments were along the lines of, I'd wear it if it didn't say CrossFit, or get a Sharpie and mark over the words CrossFit. I believe Reebok was worried that the market for these shoes wouldn't be large, so by branding them this way, they were hoping to get mass acceptance. I don't think Mark and Jesse liked the branding choice either, but likely conceded this point as the shoe might not have gotten final approval without it. I think this is pretty evident by the fact how both referred to the shoes as the power shoe instead. Officially, this shoe is called uh, Reebok CrossFit Light Shoe or something along those lines, but I'm just going to call it a power thing shoe just to make things less complicated. Now, Reebok ended up alienating both the powerlifting and CrossFit audience with this shoe in the end because powerlifters wouldn't wear it because it said CrossFit and CrossFit athletes wouldn't wear it because it catered towards a style of lifting and performance that they didn't practice. The second issue with the shoe was the color options available. Take a look at the flagship leather model. I'm not sure if this is a powerlifting shoe or a prop from Fifty Shades of Grey. Now, don't get me wrong, this is the version of the shoe I bought, but some of the alternatives were even worse. The colors available to choose from just didn't appeal to lifters. Take a look at some of the most popular shoes that these are compared to, the Chuck Taylors. Most often you see these in simple, solid colors. There were a few models available like this for the CrossFit Lite TRs, but they were pretty uncommon. The TR lights were all over the place in regard to colorways and turned a lot of people off. I know performance should play the biggest factor for shoes, but in this day and age, what a shoe looks like is extremely important. Now, Reebok did offer the opportunity to customize your own individual shoe with personal colors, which leads us to the next point. Finally, let's talk about price. The standard version of these shoes retailed for $90. Previously, I mentioned that you could also customize your own colors to get the shoe that you wanted in terms of looks, but this would raise the price in most cases up to around $120. Now, in comparison to many other shoes on the market, this doesn't really seem too high. The issue here is that there was no denying people directly compared these to Chuck Taylors, which on average go for under $50. When you combine the other factors we've mentioned and the higher price tag, most people just didn't see a reason to purchase them. Most of the people that I know that own TR lights currently actually got them once they were already placed in the clearance bin and the price came down by almost half. I believe if they could have found a way to sell these shoes closer to $70 or less, they would have been much more successful. So those are the main reasons why I think the shoe didn't work out. If you guys have other ones, make sure you leave those in the comments section below. It'll be interesting to hear another person's perspective. Now, of course, you can still find them if you're lucky, being in the Reebok outlet stores, which I've been to, I think, three or four of them, and I have not seen them at any one, so I don't believe that they're there still anymore, or in some online retailers, but in most cases, there aren't any sizes available that any average person would wear, or are there colors available that many people would own, but again, you know that to be a problem with the shoe in general. All is not lost, though, because in a recent interview on the Massonomics channel at the Arnold Sports Festival, which I'll link below in the description box, Jesse Burdick was quoted as saying that these shoes are back in development at Reebok to be redesigned and remarketed and rebranded. 
So hopefully they're going to address a lot of the issues that I pointed out because Lord knows I'll buy several more myself. Let me know if you guys will as well. And in the meantime, we'll talk to you in the next video.